What is up guys? It is the Redstone Scientist here. Now before I get into today's video, I'm just going to show you the main design that I'm going to be showcasing today because I really do hope you stick around for the rest of this video because it actually is pretty interesting how I came to these conclusions and also how I need your help. But if you want to just cut to the chase, here's the main design I'm showcasing today. And what this does is this allows you to 100% of the time, always accurate, yeah, 100% accuracy, uh, and in also facing any of the four cardinal directions will help you get your villagers into minecarts So if we just give the button which I believe is on this side a press Every single time it'll work and it is extremely fast You can uh, really send these send these fast pulses and it will continue to work All you got to do is make sure you have an upwards facing dispenser with minecarts in there and a trap door over here uh, and this works with any number of villagers. Now again, I didn't explain much of that. That's just for the people who want to cut to the chase. So that was the chase that I just cut to. So how about we actually get into the story of today's video and how I came up with this design and also why this design is unnecessary. Okay, so to continue from my last video, which was basically all about getting uh, different mobs into minecarts in 1.9, which is hard because, as I showed in that video, and I can just demonstrate again here, if we have a villager, right, and we try and push a minecart into it, the minecart just sort of bounces off him, right? We, it won't, normally in 1.8, when they would collide with an entity, the entity would just automatically start riding it. But it doesn't work like that in 1.9 because of collision. So now let's get on to the design that I actually used in the video. Um, this design had a lot of flaws, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But basically what it was, and it'll, it really depended on how many villagers were in here, basically it gave it a little water pulse to send out, uh, it was like a, a one tick pulse to move this out of the way and then put it back, and a one tick pulse with water so that I would try and get as few villagers to come out as possible, then I would dispense the minecarts. Now, that is extremely flawed, and if you, now, rem if you remember from my video on Friday, it was in the description, I never actually said it, basically my findings were about how to put mobs into minecarts in 1.9, both the mob and the minecart have to be moving independently of one another due to an external force that is not the other. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, a minecart moving like this, that's an external force, but if a villager pushes a minecart, that's the other. So basically, they can't be bouncing off each other. They both have to be moving independently of one another and collide in the same physical space, in which case they will, uh, m the villager or whatever entity will mount the minecart. So that's the gist of my findings. Now, in playing around with a whole bunch of different designs, basically what I uh, found was, let's, let's take a look at this first why I did this. Basically, let me remove the trap door. So basically, this is what I had first, okay? So we have a whole bunch of villagers in here, and we have this minecart dispenser uh, facing up, okay? So basically, my thought was, the reason why this d normally doesn't work is because all of the villagers are trying to collide every which way, and it's not always going to push the minecart in the direction that it wants to go. It's going to keep bouncing into everybody. And then I thought, maybe what happens if we, like, update the block behind it? If we give the minecart just a little bit of a push in the right direction, it, will that actually be enough to work? And as it turns out, it kind of was. If we just give this a, uh, a signal here, let me get a redstone block. It turns out this kind of works, but not 100% reliably. Because still, the villagers are pushing every, the minecart every which way. So, I was sort of thinking, alright, there are a whole bunch of different ways I could approach this. Um, but, one of the... Oh, stop doing things. Okay. Uh, but basically, then I got the idea, just sort of playing around. This is all on a live stream, by the way. That maybe if I reduced the space that the villagers occupied, it would work better. So I put a trap door there, and I did the exact same thing. Turns out, this works perfectly, 100% of the time. And the embarrassing thing is, I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, we know that the, re the reason why we're doing this block moving, and also why I'm not just using a sticky piston, is because the sticky piston would just spit out the block. I want as fast a pulse as possible, I don't really need a zero tick or anything, but I want to just have some movement behind the minecart because when a minecart is on a powered rail next to a solid block, it goes, oh, 
I need to be launched in this direction. And that's how that works. So that's why we have the moving block back there, but it also has to be fast so no villagers sort of glitch out. Uh, no villager gets into the minecart and the minecart accidentally goes the opposite direction. So referring to the trapdoor, why does the trapdoor help? So here's my theory, right? We've got all the villagers colliding with each other in this big space, right? This one block space. Then when we put the trapdoor in there, my theory is that they're all actually doing the same thing, but they're colliding with the trapdoor, which is bouncing them back against this wall over here. Um, or at least it's trying to accelerate them in that direction. When the minecart gets dispensed, it's also trying to accelerate in that direction. So the mean, the average or mean acceleration of all the entities in the area is toward the direction the minecart is supposed to be going. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It kind of makes sense to me. Uh, I'd like to discuss it more in the comments. But we're not done just yet. This is not the final design. So uh, I went over here and I created this one wide design, which was actually extremely easy to use. You technically don't even need sticky pistons. Uh, so you could build this, you know, without any slime at all. This could be an, a sand block. But basically we have a monostable circuit giving this sand a quick pulse, which uh, gives us that little block motion update to the minecart and also uh, dispenses the minecart. And that's all that's happening. And that's all that's happening in this one wide design. So what's the problem? Well, as I was getting ready to record this video and I was uh, playing around with this, this by the way, also 100% reliable, always works. I started doing the original thing, which was uh, no trapdoor and not even a piston. Okay? I started doing this. And suddenly, it started working. It started working... Oh, whoops. Uh, I have a thing here to summon minecarts. It started working 100% of the time. And I thought, that's impossible. And as you can see, it is impossible. It's not working. So I thought... And I kept trying it and trying it, and it kept working. Eventually, it stopped working, like you see on camera. And I thought... How does this make any sense, right? There, that means that there's got to be some random component to the collision of these entities because I am, I'm summoning them all in the exact same place at the exact same rate with this command block here, okay? So how does that make sense? So I said, I said to myself, I've got to test to make sure that this really is a very random component. So here I have four different pods set up, okay? In this pod, we're going to have villagers. It's going to be the exact same number of villagers in all four pods for our test. So in this pod, we're going to have... This is with the trapdoor and with villagers that can collide with each other, okay? But there's no movement of the block in any of these things. Then we have no trapdoor, villagers with collision, okay? Just so this is normal villagers, normal villagers, trapdoor, no trapdoor. And then over here, I added the villagers in both of these pods to a team, which has uh, the collision rule set to never, so that they actually don't collide with each other. So I have a trapdoor in this one and no trapdoor in this one. So let's see what happens with this test. And the results are surprising because you never get the same results. We can just activate this right here. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to uh, push this button. So there goes one, right? So as you can see, at the moment, it looks like every time this one, the one without the trapdoor and the normal villagers, is working every time. That's the normal thing that we would have done in 1.8. So why is that suddenly working? Why, like, it was making me angry. Why does this work now after all of these hours I've spent putting into this? And, you know, this clearly didn't work before. So I tried the test again, right? And we'll see that even if you have the same number of villagers in each each time you test, it's extremely, extremely inconsistent. Each one of these four has had a run when I've done these tests where it's been accurate every single time. I've like done runs of like 40 tests at a time and it's just completely unpredictable. So what is this random element of motion or collision involved with these villagers or entities in general? That's what I need your help to find out. But Basically, the bottom line is, if you're, aside from all the technical stuff, you want to put your villagers in minecarts, right? Great. So, I have two recommendations for you. Here's recommendation number one. This will work 100% of the time, okay? This thing, 
right here, uh, this one wide design. But this also, without using any of this, this redstone over here, this button, all this button will do is dispense a minecart. Absolutely nothing else. This seems to work 100% of the time. Even when I, I set it up in different places, if I set this up in a different place, somehow it doesn't work. And here it works every time. So maybe it's locational? I don't really know how to explain that. But again, the bottom line is, and I'm not going to be doing a tutorial for this because you can clearly see what it is. Um, if you want something that no matter where you build it in your world, it will definitely work 100% of the time, build this thing with the redstone here. But... I'd recommend trying this first because it's super easy. Either way, make sure you have the trap door in there because the trap door seems to be the key to making this all work. And it does not matter if you attach it to the bottom of a block or the top of a block as long as you break the block afterward. Actually, I'm not even sure that matters. I just break the block afterward so that I can uh, move this block up. So yeah, that's basically all I have for you today. Uh, if, by the way, if you're curious about how I'm refilling these things, this command is basically just summoning minecart items with a very high age tag so that they despawn after five ticks so we don't get massive lag. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's all there is to it. I need your help, by the way. Here's, uh, the tests in different directions. They all work the same. So I need your help to figure out why this is just, like, so inconsistent. I don't get it. And also, is my theory about the trapdoor correct? Can you guys maybe give me a video response or something that'll, you know, let's start a dialogue on this. I'm not really sure. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, or better yet, hit that subscribe button and make sure to check out the jam-packed description for more science. I will see you next time, guys. And of course, thanks for watching.